Hi everybody, I'm getting ready to make my delicious Love Your Neighbor casserole. Now I gave it that name because every time I make it, there's always plenty to go around and I always share it with one of my neighbors. It's a creamy casserole with chunky pieces of chicken, mushrooms, and pasta. I make it with ingredients that you probably have at home. And today I'm going to show you how I make it, step by step. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start out with my chicken. I have one and a half pounds of chicken breast and I've cut it up into bite-sized pieces because it's easier like that, see? Here it is. Now I'm gonna be using season all and lemon pepper. That's it, because together it's gonna give it a delicious flavor. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle it on and I'm gonna be a little generous, okay? Just enough to where it's all coated really well like this. Now this does contain salt, so you want to be a little bit careful with it. And that's good, just like that. And now my lemon pepper. You want to do the same thing with the lemon pepper. And that's it. You want to make sure that you move them around like this so they'll be well coated. And these are ready to go. So now we can take these to the stove. So I'm going to be using this skillet right here and it's nice and hot. I have it set a little bit higher than medium. I'm going to add about one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Now I'm going to add my chicken. Now you don't want to overlap it. You want to give it enough room so that it doesn't get steamy on you because we want a nice golden color on it. Now if you have to do it in two batches, go ahead. I'm going to see if I can do it all in, at one time. And I think it's gonna work out just fine. Now I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes before I flip it over. So it'll be nice and golden. Just do the best you can. See how pretty this is looking? And I'm gonna continue moving it around like this until it's well cooked. You don't want raw chicken in your casserole. Now my chicken is well cooked. As I flip it around, I always split some in half like this and check them from the inside and make sure that they're well cooked. I have checked my chicken and it's perfect. So I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to set it aside until I'm ready to use it. And now we can move on to our next step. So now I'm ready to cook my mushrooms. I'm going to be using this skillet right here. And I've got my heat set a little bit higher than medium. I'm going to put in one and a half tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add my mushrooms. I have eight ounces of sliced Baby Bella mushrooms, but you can use any kind of mushrooms that you want. Now, if you have big pieces, you wanna cut them in half like this, because you don't want real big chunky pieces. Now, the reason we're gonna cook our mushrooms first is because the mushrooms contain a lot of water. And if you were to put these mushrooms into your casserole, just like this, they're gonna be very rubbery. And so the best way to remove the water is by adding some salt. See, just a little salt like this. And this salt will draw out all that water. You wanna leave them like that for just a little bit before we flip them over to the other side. So it's been about two minutes. Now I'm gonna flip them around. And you're gonna start seeing a lot of liquid in your skillet because they're gonna be releasing it. And you wanna move them around for about six minutes until you don't see hardly any liquid in here. Now it's been about five to six minutes and as you can see there's no more liquid in here and my mushrooms are just perfect. I'm going to remove them off my skillet and I'm going to get started on my sauce. So now that I have my chicken and my mushrooms out of the way I'm going to start with my sauce. I'm also going to be cooking my pasta over here on this side. Now I'm going to be using the same skillet that I used to cook my mushrooms. I'm going to add my butter. I have four tablespoons of butter right here. I've got my heat set just a little bit lower than medium. I'm going to add my garlic. I have three large garlic cloves, finely minced. See, we want this butter to pick up the flavor of the garlic. Just give it about one minute. I'm ready to add my flour. I have six tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to be whisking it around like this non-stop and it's gonna get a little doughy but that's the way it's supposed to get a little doughy you want to cook your flour 
You don't want to put raw flour into your casserole because then it'll taste real chalky. And when you cook your flour like this, you know, you can be sure that you're going to have a fantastic casserole. So now that I've cooked my flour and it has a beautiful golden color, I'm ready to add my milk. I've got four cups of whole milk and I'm going to add a little bit at a time. And you want to do a non-stop whisking. This will give you a very creamy sauce. You don't want to stop whisking because you don't want lumps in here. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. I have one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Continue your whisking. So my sauce is starting to look beautiful. See, there's no more lumps. Now while I wait for it to come up to a simmer, I'm going to start cooking my pasta. As you can see, my water is boiling. I'm going to add some salt in here and I'm going to add my pasta. I'm going to be using cavatappi. See, this is number 55 and I have one pound. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to let it cook according to the package directions. I'm going to continue whisking my sauce until it gets a little bit thicker. I'm going to add a little bit more pepper and I'm going to add a little salt. So you want to be tasting it as you go along. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Now I'm going to add my mushrooms. And I'm going to turn off the heat. Now my pasta has about two minutes to go. Now that I have my sauce ready, as soon as I drain my pasta, we'll be able to put our casserole together. Look at this in the back. See, that's how you want your sauce to look. So I'm ready to put my casserole together. Now I drained my pasta and then I rinsed it with cold water. This way it won't stick. I'm gonna dump it into this bowl. Hopefully this bowl will be big enough to accommodate everything. If not, I'm gonna have to dump it into a bigger bowl. I'm gonna add my chicken. You want to make sure that you keep your chicken covered so it'll stay nice and moist. Now I'm going to add my red bell pepper and it's diced small like this. I have one cup. Now I don't add this to my chicken or into the sauce because I think it gets really cooked down and mushy. So I wait till the end and it cooks beautifully in the oven. I have half a cup of chopped green onions. I'm going to add them in here, half a cup of green bell pepper, or you can use the orange or the yellow, they're all good. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. We like a little bit of a kick in here. Now you can also use cayenne pepper. Now I'm going to add my cheese. I have two cups of freshly grated sharp cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to put in about one cup. I think that's about a cup. And I also have two cups of freshly grated mozzarella. I'm also going to add about one cup. I think that's about a cup right there. I like the flavor of both of them. I like the way the mozzarella melts and I like the flavor of the sharp cheddar. And now I'm going to add my sauce. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Now if you think your sauce is a little bit too thick, you can always add a little bit of chicken broth. I always keep chicken broth in the freezer and then I thaw it. I'm going to add one ladle full like this. You don't want it to be, you know, real thick because then once it goes into the oven, it'll get a lot thicker. Now I am going to put all the ingredients below in the description box so you'll know exactly what I used and how much. I'm going to spray my dish lightly with some nonstick cooking spray. You just want to make sure that it doesn't stick. Now you want to spread it out. 
Perfect. Now I'm gonna to top it with my cheese. You wanna take it all the way to the corners, you see, all around, because you want your cheese to insulate everything really well. And I'm gonna put in my mozzarella cheese too. Also top it with a little bit of chopped parsley. And that's good. Now I've got my oven set at 350 degrees. I'm gonna put it right there in the center rack, just a little bit higher, for about 35 to 40 minutes, just like this. And I'll see you in a little bit. So my casserole is ready and it's absolutely beautiful. Come take a look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now it's time for the taste test. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Now, we're gonna have it with this salad. See, it's just a simple salad, but it goes so good with this dish because of the crunchiness and it's cold. And then this is so creamy and perfect. So this is my wonderful creamy chicken, mushroom and pasta casserole, AKA love your neighbor casserole. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.